Hello, YouTubers. Hello, subscribers. Kisses to all of you. This is another video, I know. When it's hot, it's hot, okay? It's the Megan Show. It's the Megan Show. It's the Megan Show. Oh, 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 yeah. All right, guys, let's get to it. Now, kisses to you. I love you guys out there. Thank you to my new subscribers. Welcome and help me welcome my new subscribers, my veterans. Thank you guys for um, blessing me with your presence and hanging out with me and, and listen to me right along about Megan. <laughs> and um, I love that we all have pretty much the same thoughts. So I wanted to talk about... Um, I want to talk about the kids and them going in, going to Canada or the UK. Excuse me. They're going to the UK during the Invictus next year. I read that somewhere and I thought it was just a, a bunch of hoopla. You know how Megan does it. She throw things out there just to have people thinking one thing but actually doing another Mm -hmm. saying one thing but not really actually following through with the with the, like the 40 by 40 she didn't follow through with that whatever happened to that oh okay um but that was just an example but what i'm trying to say is is that she makes promises that she can't keep let me give some more examples. You remember when she wrote that long letter to Elizabeth, telling Elizabeth that how she was going to um, be this great ambassador to the Commonwealth and be an influencer and be a philanthropist? I'm sure she read, gave Elizabeth her resume when she before she married Harry because she told us she wrote these letters and said, use me, use me for this. I'm here for this. No, you're here for yourself. You're here for, you wasn't there for the monarchy. You wasn't there for your husband's family. You wasn't there for your husband. You were there for you. You were there to make sure that you married this prince so everybody can find out who the hell you were and so you can become famous and Oprah can start looking for you. Stuff like that. She's strategic, but she tells stories about what she's about. And But she's the opposite of that. Like she calls herself a philanthropist. Uh -uh. You, just because you've been to Africa doesn't make you that person. Just because you're sitting on stage and talking about mental health doesn't mean you're an advocate for it or someone that gives a dang. Megan does not care about anybody else's health. If she cared about someone's health, you have to care for your loved ones first. And I don't think that whatever her father did doesn't require how she's been treating him. Because I do remember that he brought her life. But I don't remember him doing anything to justify the way she's treating him. I, I, she can't justify the way she's treating Harry's father. His entire family, his country, lying, making up stories. Okay, good, good. We're, we're back, we're back, we're back. Just saying things that sound good and sound right for the moment. I'm going to send, she, she's a letter writer. So she wrote Elizabeth this letter telling Elizabeth that she was going to do all this kind of work for her once she got married into the royal family. But she didn't do anything that she said that she was going to do. She did the opposite. She stole from Elizabeth and then she left. Mm -hmm. She used Harry to get to be famous. And so... I digress. My examples of her saying that she's going to do something and she doesn't follow through with it. 
How many adventures, how many rebrands, how many start overs, redos have Megan been through? And how successful have they they're been? Have they been? Because if you talk to anyone now, the Oprah show was a disaster. The docuseries was a flop a doo. The spare book is being returned by everybody you can think of. And you wonder to yourself, wow, that's a failed, that's a failed, failed situation. No, she's not letting those kids go to the United Kingdom. My point. She says things, but she doesn't mean them. And then she'll come up with an excuse as to why it didn't work out. Well, um, the security was messed up. So we decided that the best thing for us to do was to be safe over here in the United States. We're gone. You can just walk down the street with a gun. Oh, God, yeah. That's crazy. My husband went in the store the other day. He said somebody just was had the gun on him in the store. I was like... Oh, that I don't want to be in the store with that person. But no, his safety. Then he lies. Then they come up with a story that they were chased in Manhattan and two people are being investigated because they are investigated for what? Well, first of all, what were they going to be investigated for? Chasing you? Taking your picture, the lies, <laughs> the lie upon lie upon lie. Once you start lying, it you just she just keeps going, and then you can't fix it. She can't fix this. You can't double down on something that's not true. You can't say that you were chased in Manhattan for two hours. That is impossible. That's what the mayor said. <laughs> no, Megan's always talking about what she's going to do and how she's going to change the world. And, you know, she's there for you. And, you know, she's a philanthropist. And she knows what kind of wine you should buy. And and, and her $100,000 clothes. I don't care what clothes she wears. But just because they're expensive doesn't make them look better on her. I just know she has her moments, <laughs> but she's not, she's going to come up with some freaking excuse as to why they can't go see their relatives or ever meet them. It feels like she's keeping them hostages, hostage in, in Montecito. <laughs> So that was really why I came on here tonight was to talk about how Megan is not going to allow uh, Archie or Lilibet to ever touch foot, touch down, look. The closest they're going to get to the UK is through the encyclopedia or on the internet looking through a picture or a photo. Because Megan isn't looking to go back over there and she's definitely not taking her prince and princess over there. Oh no. Megan is strategic. She's a planner. She's always thinking ahead. Because for them to go and talk about <laughs> a letter, because you know she loves her letters, mysteriously showed up at the at the hearing, at Harry's hearing, to discuss why he needs security. He used that moment in time as an excuse as to why him and him, him and Megan need security. Then they said, they lied and said they were sought after, they were more sought after than his mother. In other words, Megan's more popular. Than Diana. That's that stupid stuff. That's how you know what's really going on in her, per this person said. She thinks she's the most important person in the world, not just that, that everybody else is beneath her. 
and want to be her and that she's doing everything right and what she says goes and she believes her own lies. She wants an apology from King Charles about unconscious bias. That's that stupid stuff. <laughs> when Harry get through playing this game, you know, whatever it is that he's doing with this woman, he's going to need a full detox. But no, because she's, she's, it's, 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 un, it behooves me how this person can be like this and how dare you How, how dare you, Harry, not stop this madness? Okay, hold on. Okay, we're going to do this short clip. And I may make a comment on some of it. Some of it I've already made a comment about it. And we're just going to move on. There's a few things that got my interest. Interest. For half an hour, 45 minutes. I mean, that's not enough. Like, yeah. your father is potentially, like, dying, and you just fly in for, like, just see them that quickly. Yeah. I don't think that's right. It was almost better that he didn't come oh. than to just, like, you know, add him into his little itinerary of, oh, I'm going to come in and see you for that amount of time. Well, there's no indication that he's dying. I mean, no, I no, no, I'm not saying dying, no, no, but I'm saying, not. obviously, like, about. if you have a, a serious uh, cancer and it's serious... Enough for everybody to be told about it. It's not, you know, what Harry did to his grandmother is unforgivable. Mm. And what President Trump said about that was was very good, actually, because he just said, you know, I'm not going to be standing behind Harry if I become president because what he did to his grandmother. And, you know, when she was in her last years of her life, like he was too busy running around L.A. with the No, I'll, I'll let you know what he did. He wasn't running around in L.A., no, he was trashing his family, plotting and planning with his Jezebel. Uh huh. That's what he was doing. And he was making plans to try pretty much go to war with his entire family and his country. And now they don't want to have nothing to do with him. Harry who? No. No one cared. People got over the fact that Mexit happened. But you kind of knew that, uh-oh, something is happening. But never in your wildest dreams do you think that we would be sitting here talking about the conversations that we are talking about. How this woman has wreaked massive havoc and has, to me, managed to destroy her reputation and her husband's reputation. It's unsavable. Donald Trump came out and reminded Harry, <laughs> he did, that he mistreated his grandmother in her last days. You let your, that's what he really want to say, is that you let your Jezebel do it. I'm surprised he didn't. He's already said that he was whooped. But no, I think he's pointing at Harry so he can take some of the responsibility for allowing this to go down. Because if you don't know who's in control right now, then you are not... So, somebody said soap opera. One of you guys said soap opera. I think it was Campbell. You're going to miss the Megan and Harry soap opera. Soap opera. This is, this is a reality TV show that's going on with Megan and Harry. It is. <laughs> and it is not, it's nonstop. And they keep themselves in the news, in the limelight, in front. She just launched her relaunched. 
She just launched her Sussex. Her Sussex. The same name Elizabeth gave her. She took, left, kids and all, ain't look back and just, I'm rebranding myself. I am no longer connected to my, my, my husband's family. Without your husband's family, you don't, you're, <sighs> without your husband's family, your reputation is going to continue to fumble and fall and crush. Because Lemonado and Lemonade and Lemon, whatever company that you go on for, you should have kept that to yourself. Because that is not a win. That is a loser streak right there. That you are going to some off no-name brand streaming company that just was just launched in 2019. Three years ago, two or three years ago, Lemonado. And who's going to pay to go over there and listen to it? Oh. <laughs> I heard Harry did a mini Hulu, a mini Hulu documentary still talking about his family. He knows that that's all he has that people want to know. But they're sick of the trash. Trash got to go. That's why when they named that end book didn't do good, when Megan started naming people around that time, she set it up. Okay, I'm going to name, they're going to name her in, the, in, in King Charles in the book and during Christmas. Then after that, I'm going to relaunch my new website and I'm gonna we're gonna do that ad commercial and then we're gonna do this and no she thinks she's up here she thinks she doesn't she's ignoring the noise or not paying attention which is sad which is really really sad and the only thing that still makes her is because of Harry that's it but talent wise the million dollars are drying up and have drawed up. And I don't hear the deals. ding a ling a ling I don't hear it. You know, she would tell us there was a tig. Ain't nothing there, guys. Your wife. Mm, so I don't think... It, with Harry, it's always a little bit too late. Yeah. And the fact that with his father now, and he's just still messing around over there and going to, like basketball games it's just ridiculous although i think that the rumor, rumor is to be believed mm. he's um they're apparently saying just stay away and just get on with living your life and stop publicizing everything well i think if he did come and see his father and actually spend some real time with mm. him and don't publicize it like yeah. just come in sneak in don't don't put it out as a pr situation where everyone has to know just he's doing it really just to keep also the networks interested like mm. oh he still has contact with the royal family because mm. without that he doesn't have she's right check this out king charles just announced that he had cancer harry runs home like i'm coming announces it pr all the way because megan's got mm -mm, thinking pr it, baby pr it. so he lets everybody know he's coming then he goes he speaks for her literally it was embarrassing how long that he spoke to his father that that was embarrassing what that told me was his father said get out of here with the shenanigans you and your wife think that we're crazy over here or that we don't see what you guys are doing. And Megan thinks she's smarter than them. She does. She thinks she's smarter than the royals. <laughs> the reason why she thinks she's smarter because she thinks this game, this is a game. And she to me, she treats it like a game. 
your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn. But they're not doing anything. She's doing it all to herself. <laughs> King Charles and Catherine, Princess Catherine, are sick and recovering. And Megan thinks, oh, this would be a great time to relaunch. It's about me. And you can't tell me the Americas wasn't looking like, well, that was tacky. Oh, right when you know that they're not feeling well, you're going to relaunch, like celebrate yourself. Okay, while they're over there sick, I'm going to, let's celebrate me. It just reeks and continues to tell me how obsessed Megan is with herself. That she doesn't care about anyone other than herself. She doesn't have room for anyone else. It's just enough room for her. She doesn't care about her husband, what he thinks, his feelings, what's going on. No, they use this as a PR moment. And then Harry runs over there. Let me finish my thought. Harry runs over there, speak to his dad. Then he gets ready to interview Okay, and then he's interviewing and then, of course, they're going to ask about Charles and everybody wants to know what's going on. And, you know, the question was asked, you know, you got to spend some time with your dad, you know, whatever, whatever. And then Harry went on. But he knew that. That's why he ran over here. He did. That was a publicity. You cannot tell me that it wasn't. Because, like she said, why did he need to make an announcement that he was going home? What? To let the network people know, I'm going home and they're going to be calling you when you get back to find out what happened. Do you want to interview? <laughs> he took the focus off, to, off of Invictus again and again and again and again. And he made it about his personal, personal life. And his personal stuff that is going on. That's when he did that short clip that I saw. Because I didn't see the big picture. I just saw the clip. When he was, I forgot what I was saying. But my point is, is that Harry set it all up. He did. Him and his wife, she's strategic. She's not... She thinks that she's always ahead. And no, no one's playing. There's not, it's, no, this is serious. Like, his father has cancer. That would have threw me a loop. I would have been just devastated like I was. And, you know, especially with my husband's father. You know, you're like, oh, because you feel for your father-in-law, you know, your father-in-law, you, you, you're feeling for your husband and you're just, your heart is broke. And she takes it as a moment of relaunching, launching, rebranding. How desperate, how desperate is she to become famous? She had to do it during this time, during a time where the royals are, to me, need quiet. And since Meghan and Harry keeps talking, there's no... <laughs> so they're dealing with, you know, people being nosy about Catherine's, where's Catherine, Princess Catherine, she's where she's at. She's at home being taken care of and doing her thing. And I don't think that it's, we should, no, I don't. That's their business. Jeez, I think they told us enough. <laughs> anyway, no, Megan thought it was a good time to launch her All About Me website. Then when you go on the website, it's a whole nother mind thing. She talks about herself. It's her and Harry. It's the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And you won't miss it. They come from the royal family. That's what that website said to me. 
And then it talked about all that she was about. Vogue, um, philanthropy, um, I mean, you name it, Megan has done it. <laughs> and it's just disgusting. It's really bad behavior. And Harry just, I don't know if he's just caught up in it or don't know or can't, don't have no control and don't see. He, look, it's been going on for so long. He, he can't distinguish what's good and what's not. I got my own family over here. It don't look like it. Look like you got a, a, a Jezebel and two missing kids. Not missing, but, you know, can't nobody see them. They locked up. We don't know what them kids look like, what age group, where. No, I, I know I may show a little bit of Kara too much, but you're you're seeing her grow, especially you, you, you that have been here, you guys that have been here for about a year. Okay, let's continue. Anything, mm -hmm. because his interview with Good Morning America was done with a secondary crew who were uh, following him around for the Invictus Games. Of course, the launch of their new website, mm -hmm. um, you know, since Sussex Royal didn't work, we now have the new one. And so it, that is all they really have. They don't want to be part of the royal family, but they know that they only make money from being in the royal family. Mm -hmm. And then we've got, finally, uh, Meghan Markle. No, you can't make money off the Duchess of Sussex. You used to. You She made money off a of trash. Now the dust has settled and she has no talent. So now she's going to have to make her money based on her talent and not her name. So no matter how hard she comes out with this philanthropy website, it didn't do anything. It wasn't, it was so, to me, it told me how vain she was, how conceited, how self-centered, how it's all about me. On another level. Like if you didn't know that she was about herself. And you know she's the only one in the room. Look at me. That the website did it for me. It, it, it sealed the deal. It said yeah she is a bona fide. 100% all about me. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. Uh oh 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 uh oh 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 oh. Yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. The Mimi show. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm gonna sing it one more time. One more time. One more time. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> yep, that's it. I got real, I got overly excited. I did, because I felt it. I know that's it. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. Uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh, yeah. Now, I do apologize right now if one of you have already suggested it and I didn't pick up on it, but go ahead and just message me, comment, and say, I told you to use it, and I'll give you a shout out. Because for some reason, I think one of you has said that. Use the Mimi show. <laughs> okay, one more time. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. Uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Okay. She joined Lemonada, and the last time she was uh, seen, or the most public thing that I've seen, is her um, helping Afghan refugees or something and doing some sort She's of... She's trying to now do an Angelina Jolie, and it just <laughs> doesn't really work. <laughs> so let's see, maybe they'll be uh, adopting a, uh, you know, a refugee child next, but um, I wouldn't put anything past her mm. just for, you know, the headlines. Oh. Um, Megan ain't... 
she's too, ooh, nope. She's not gonna be adopting nobody. Let that go. I think she's extremely calculated. She's yeah, extremely she, she does seem that way, Lady Victoria. She's extremely calculated. When I say that Megan strategic, that's what I mean. She's very calculated. Like, we're not just going to have a incident down in New York City where there's a car chase. We're going to have this on record. We're going to send this to the courts. We're going to let them know what happened so that they we have proof that, you know, that it's dangerous and we need 24-hour um, surveillance. And that's what she used it for. That's what I believe she used it for. What else? Why else would a letter show up talking about, oh, yes, there's an investigation going on. We were, I was wondering if they were going to do an investigation on them. But Megan and Harry never turned in any evidence, nothing to the police, nothing. So they didn't have anything to investigate. Come on, let's move on. Thank you very Great much to see you. for joining me. That is, of course, Lady Victoria. Okay. You, she's a social icon and has very close links with... Well, um, I am out of here, guys. This is the second video. I know you guys are probably resting right now like I'm going to do. So, I know you're probably getting up. One of the two. I'll just wait. Um, kisses to all of you. Don't forget to hit like, share, and comment. And... Make sure you're subscribed. We almost have 4,000 subscribers and we're going to have like a little live party, okay, for the 4,000. Go, hey, Mimi, the Mimi show, the Mimi show. <laughs> Bye.